2024 is already seeing a massive revolution in the way that mixing is happening with smart DJs everywhere. Because smart DJs are getting on the acapella and stems mixing revolution that's been brought about by new software that's either incorporated in your DJ software or available separately, sometimes for free, that completely changes the game. It's one of those threshold moments like when key mixing first appeared or when digital DJing first appeared and you could have all your music with you at all times. It's as big as that. And it basically means you can have any a cappella that you want of any song that's ever been recorded for your DJing. It's like a holy grail for DJs. And it's awesome. So today I'm going to talk you through the, the where and the how and the mixing and the, the background to all of this, answer some questions, give you some tips and tricks, give you some stuff you can have for free, point you to loads of places where you can learn more about this. So if you want to start doing this and if you don't, you're going to get left behind, then this is the show for you. We're live, which means I'll be taking student comments and questions as we go through. But for now, I'm going to run our intro sequence so people can settle down and join us live. I'll see you in 30 seconds. Look, if you've listened to, watched, been involved in any DJing in the last, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 years, you'll know that acapellas are a thing. There is nothing like finding an acapella that works great over another record. I remember I found an acapella that worked brilliantly over a long intro of a song back in like 1994 or something, started a mixtape with it. And a girl I was particularly fond of at the time said to me, I can't stop listening to that over and over again. It's so good. And that feeling that you've discovered something that can make people feel like that. And it's yours because you put the two things together, right? Nowadays, with so much music out there, you could be the first person who's done this kind of thing, especially with new songs and so on. So acapellas has already been a thing. The big change in 2024 is that anyone can get their hands on them. Now, we just put a post on the Digital DJ Tips website, which you'll find if you go there now, called Acapellas Are Everywhere, Can You Mix Like This? So if you're in any doubt as to how cool this kind of thing is, we've got our 10 favourite acapella mixes ever, all here all in one place so you can just go and have a listen to them and as you can see they're by some of the biggest names in DJing and see what this is all about see why we're so excited about this and see why you should be so excited about this as well so go and take a look at that article currently on digital DJ tips and get excited with me about this and if you're not I'm sure that will help all right so here's the thing if you've ever tried to do this it's not the easiest thing in the world I'm sure you have had a go and if you have, I'm sure you'll be nodding your head now when I say it's difficult. You know, they don't sound like you think they're going to sound. They don't often sound like you hear other DJs do. You think you've got it right, but you haven't. And it's difficult to know where you're going wrong, right? And so it's not unusual, right, to, to, to fall into this, this kind of like situation. It's not your fault because there's so much here that's new that you've got to get right. So you've got to beat grid them. If you want to use the sync button and you want to get everything synced up like you do with your normal music, you've got to beat grid them. And you're beat gridding something that hasn't got a beat because an acapella doesn't have a beat. So beatless beat gridding. And then you've got to get the key right, the musical key right. Now, unless you get that right, it's going to sound terrible because it's like a singer singing purposefully out of tune over a song if you don't get the key right. And the key shift functions on a lot of DJ software don't work. The key sync functions don't work. They'll make your song sound really high or really low. And, and there's a reason for that. But then there's also the mechanics, the actual mechanics. When do you press start? How do you get it so that the, the phrasing's right, so that the acapella sits right over the beats underneath and so on? DJ with acapellas is hard. It's like a dark art. It's like a bit of a holy grail. So I want to give you some tips and tricks now um, that will help you to tell you where you can find out more about this, tell you what we've done to help you to do this. I also want your questions. So I have a questions uh, box here coming in live on my laptop with anything you ask. And at the end of this, I'll come to you and let's hear what you have got to say about this. Firstly, though, 
Where do you get them? And this is the big thing that's changed. This is the thing that more than anything else is causing this revolution in DJing in 2024 because smart DJs have realized they can get them absolutely easily and therefore DJing is changing because they're literally sometimes at the touch of a button. So where do you get them? That's the next thing I want to look at. So we've got over on Digital DJ Tips an article where we are talking about um, getting stems away from your DJ software, which I'm going to show you in a minute, but you don't have to do that. There is stems available now in pretty much all DJ software. So I've got an Opus Quad here, so I've been playing with this today with um, Recordbox. This is Pioneer DJ's record box, and you can see in the middle here where I'm putting my mouse pointer, it says drums, vocals, and instrumentals, and I can press buttons on the screen, and I can turn these on and off, and there we go. Uh, I can now play with just the vocals. So literally, by just leaving the vocal turned on in the middle here, on this unit here, I can now DJ with just the vocal. Literally, it's pressing buttons. It's as simple as that. And it's in pretty much all DJ software now, Tractor, the only big one that's holding out that hasn't got it, right? So if you're a virtual DJ user, if you're a Serato user, if you're a Recordbox user, DJ Pro AI user, it's in there for you. Now, here's my first big tip. If you don't have access, like you're a Tractor user or you're using um, something like um, uh, an XDJ RX3 from Pioneer, very popular, no stems on there. If you're using it on its own, you can't do this. If you just wanted to quickly get an acapella or something, uh, you can do it using Virtual DJ. Virtual DJ is not free software, but it is free if you just want to use it on your desktop. So what you do is you go to the Virtual DJ website, you download Virtual DJ like this. It won't cost you anything. You'll get everything. You load a track up, you turn Virtual DJ's stems feature so that you're only playing the vocal. You hit play, you hit record, and then you're going to get an, an acapella. Virtual DJ's stems sound really, really nice and there's lots of ways of tweaking them. So this is a fantastic way of quickly getting an acapella of any song you want without it costing you a penny. So there's my first big tip for you today. If you haven't got this and you want it and you want to get an acapella of everything, go grab Virtual DJ. Again, it's free if you don't plug a controller in. You're, they only charge you for when you plug a controller in. It's great to know. All right, but there are other ways of getting uh, stems. Now, if it's not in your DJ software, you're probably going to want to use one of these other ways. Even if it is in your DJ software, you might, and by the way, I keep saying stems because acapellas are more than stems, right? So this software will give you the vocal or the acapella, it'll give you the drums, it'll give you the bass line, it'll give you the melodies, sometimes the hi-hats, sometimes just the kick drum. It will separate all this stuff for you. We're primarily interested in acapellas because they're by far the most useful, but you can get all those other things as well. There is software that will get the acapellas, will get the stems for you that is not your DJ software. Now, why would you want to do that? A couple of big reasons. One, your computer might not be powerful enough. This is very common because it needs a powerful computer. For instance, my laptop at home can't do it. This one here is an Apple M laptop, and this one can do it, but the one um, at home I've got can't do it. So it, oh, again, it depends on what software you're using. But the thing is, DJ software has to do it in real time. It has to literally separate it as you want it. Not always. Sometimes there's clever ways of kind of semi-preparing ahead of time, but you can kind of kick that all out the door by literally getting everything ready beforehand. Uh, and the way you do that is by using software that's made to do that. The brilliant thing about using software that's made to prepare your acapellas and all the other stems if you want them ahead of time is you just drag them into your DJ software like, like normal tracks. It doesn't cost any more uh, processor time than playing anything else. But also because the software takes longer to, to spit out the acapella and the instrumental or whatever, it can do a better job of it. If it's taking four or five times as long, it's spending that time doing a really good job. So you get better results generally. So again, we've got an article. We'll link to all these articles underneath this video. There is an article on Digital DJ Tips where we look at some of this software. So one of the pieces of software we look at here is called RipX. This is RipX, the first one we speak of actually. Now RipX is a very clever piece of software because it lets you not only load up a track and then have the vocals and the drums and everything else, but it lays them out like you're in Ableton Live or something, and then it lets you use MIDI with it. So if you're a DJ producer type and you want to start, you can literally change the tune of an acapella by dragging the notes around on a piano keyboard. It's absolutely incredible. So it is definitely a piece of software that I recommend if you want to go a bit further than just getting the acapella. It looks like this. I've got it loaded up here. So these, this is an acapella I've got loaded up. So these, I can actually move these around, these notes. I can move them. 
up and down. So you heard there's, uh, you probably didn't hear that very well. I can actually move the whole note up and down. Now this area here doesn't look like it's part of the a cappella. It looks like noise. I can just click on these and delete them uh, and it will get rid of them and then they're not there on my copy. So this is really cool and I've got to update our license on this. I've only just loaded it for the first time in ages, as I just realized. Uh, it's really, really nice if you want to go further than just just getting the acapella quickly or whatever. So that's called RipX. Now, we just launched a, uh, a course called uh, How to Mix with Acapellas and Stems. I'll tell you about that at the very end. Uh, but one of the things in that course, just if you're interested, if you looked at this and you think, I like that, is we've got an educational discount on that piece of software, 50% off that piece of software. It's not the cheapest, so that's a good saving. So just hold that thought. Anyway, it's not the only game in town when it comes to um, do preparing stems ahead of time. So there's other pieces of software that are excellent. One of them is this one here, it's called Stemverter 3. It's just for the Mac. The good thing about Stemverter 3 is it's really good at batch processing. So you could have it processing, you could literally be buying new songs every week and have it processing them as soon as they arrive and giving you the acapellas instantly. You can even right click on songs in the finder and it will just find them and do them. So it's a very Mac centric little piece of software. And the other one I want to bring your attention to now is this one. Now, if you're a tractor user, I said at the beginning, tractor users cannot use stems because they've got, they've got an older version of stems built in that doesn't work in real time. It's a long story. Basically, you can't use them. This piece of software, it means you can. This is called Nuo Stems version three. And this is designed to spit out a special kind of file that will let you use the old style of stems that are built into Traktor. And you can again run this on your whole collection. So Traktor users, keep your ears open. Uh, this is only like $30, $35 and it is a revolution for tractor users. It's got loads of other tractor things in it as well, loads of tractor features. So if you're a tractor user and you want to get your stems working like everyone else is enjoying, then this is definitely for you. It's called Nuo Stems version three. So there's just three pieces of stems software uh, that will help you to do this ahead of time for whatever reason, if you want to. The point is, the revolution is all about having all the acapellas you want instantly, easily, right? So I've just given you loads and loads of ways of getting them. Right, I want to now blow the lid on something that this industry does not want you to know. I know you hear that all the time. I mean, it's like YouTube videos, isn't it? Yeah, this is what they don't want you to know. But seriously, they don't want you to know this. So I'm going to tell it to you. Back at the very beginning of all of this technology, there was a AI algorithm released by a company called Deezer. Some of you will know Deezer because they're like Spotify or Tidal or Apple Music, but they're one of the small ones. And they released this piece of software, open source for free, anyone could use it, called Spleter, S-P-L-E-E-T-E-R. And everyone jumped on it and that was what powered the stems in early DJ software versions and so on. Also a lot of the early websites that could do it. And, and we all remember back two years ago, they didn't sound very good. Then, Meta, Facebook, got on the game and they released a, another open source, free to anyone, version called DMUX, D-E-M-U-C-S. And DMUX has gone from versions one, two, three, it's now on version four. Miles better, miles better than Spleter. Really, really good results. Again, open source, and it's not even been developed by Meta anymore. It's been developed by the original developer away from them. Uh, but it's still there and, it, and this is the best one at the moment. Now. DMUX, remember, free, open source, it powers pretty much all of the stems software you see. Pretty much the ones I'm showing you on the screen here, powered by DMUX. The stuff plugged into your DJ software, unless they tell you otherwise, and I challenge them to, powered by DMUX. In other words, you're paying for something that's free. Now, in your DJ software, you own it anyway, great. Some of these programs I'm showing you here, RipX, Nuo Stems, They've got, and, and, and um, Stemverter as well, they've got stuff built into them that they're putting on top of the free algorithm to make it fun to use, easier to use, give you more features, that's what you're paying for. But don't pay a subscription or pay like, oh, I've bought 500 minutes of Stems stuff. Because if you're paying a website every time you do it, they're just taking that money from you. Because the software that they're using, they, they, they haven't paid for, so, so be careful. They don't want you to know that they're all using this algorithm. Some of them do, some of them are upfront about it, some of them aren't, but it's a free algorithm, right? It might sound amazing, but it's free. So don't pay a subscription for this stuff. There is an ahead of time STEMS platform 
that is totally upfront about this. And it's the fourth one we talk about in this article. Again, I'll link to these articles underneath. It's called Ultimate Vocal Remover. And Ultimate Vocal Remover is completely free. And it's got all the, all the different ways of making stems that I've already talked to you about uh, in it. You can download them to, to work with it. Uh, and it's, as I say, it's completely free. And it is, therefore, if you don't want to spend any money to get really, really good results, Ultimate Vocal Re Remover is definitely the one to use. Uh, it looks a little bit like this. Uh, it's this window I've got in the front. I've still got, uh, I've still got, uh, Ripex open in the background, but it's this one I've got in the front. You just select an input, you put a file in, you select an output, and you can use this down here and down here to select what you want to use to make your stems. And there's lots and lots of different models plugged in here, DMUX being the, the, the main one. So use Ultimate Vocal Remover. It's for Mac or for Windows if you want to mess around with this for free. It's a bit geeky. You need to give it permissions to install and all that kind of stuff that you often do with small indie software but when you get it going i thoroughly recommend it so there's another big tip for you uh, you've got virtual dj if you just want to make a quick quick one it'll do it for free uvr for free if you want to really get stuck in and tweak it uh, and you really can go down a rabbit hole with uvr by the way i've spoken to the developer i've been on their forums they're really serious about this stuff so take a look at that all right so that's how it works that's the background to how this this happens uh, i want to now show you uh, something else that I've got ready for you from the website, which is mixing uh, with stems and solving the biggest problem. Now, the biggest problem when you want to mix with stems, uh, or, or in this case, acapellas, really, the biggest problem by far is that you can't match the musical key easily. We kind of touched on it. And the problem is that if you hit the key sync button in Serato, is, is, is the most notorious example, it might move the track up or down by five or six or seven notes just to match the key. And then you're going to get a vocal that sounds like helium, like someone's inhaled a helium balloon. Or it's going to sound like Barry White when actually it's, uh, you know, <laughs> Taylor Swift, right? Not good. So there is an easy way to fix this so that you've got an acapella loaded and you've got a backing track loaded. You've got to get them in a key that works, but you don't want to be moving it stupidly up or down. And it's called fuzzy key mixing. Now we've got a article about it. We invented this. It's the way we've been teaching key mixing at Digital DJ Tips for a long time. Unfortunately, uh, Camelot wheel, some of you will have heard of the Camelot wheel, uh, is not taught in this way, which is a shame. So uh, there's a problem there. However, we kind of sussed this out. This is the Camelot wheel. Uh, we teach it differently and the way we teach it is better. Just trust me on that. Uh, so this article explains it. Again, we'll link underneath to this article. Uh, but just trust me when I tell you that all the big names are starting to adopt it. So this is Pioneer DJ's key sync that you find on there. Pro Gear, this now uses our fuzzy key mixing method. Also DJ, uh, uh, Engine DJ. So if you've got Engine DJ gear from Denon DJ or Newmark, that uses fuzzy key mixing as well. Uh, Algorithms DJ Pro uses fuzzy key mixing. If you've got any of that software, you're in luck. Just tap that key sync button uh, when you're using an acapella and it will, it will move it up or down by a maximum of one or two notes. And it will sound, might sound different, but it won't sound anywhere near as bad. And often that will just be fine. So you're in luck. Uh, but however you do it, you've got to key sync acapellas. You've got to key match acapellas to the backing tracks. Otherwise, it will sound terrible, as we talked about. But the other big thing when it comes to mixing with acapellas, which I want to give you a free resource to help with as well, on Digital DJ Tips, we've got this article that blows the lid on this. Uh, it's called The Easy Way to Beat Good Acapellas. So acapellas are, by nature, uh, a vocal with no beat. However, you do need to know where the beats are in order to mix with them. Now, old school, uh, doing it with vinyl, uh, we just had to do it by ear. It was hard. We had to learn by ear. Now you don't have to do that. I recommend that you do try doing that, by the way. But there are also methods of doing that now. But you do need to get the beat grid right. And that can be hard. So in this article here, again, I keep saying it, but I want you to know it's linked underneath. I talk you through how to do that. Of course, if you're using stems in your DJ software, you don't have to do that because you beat mix two tracks together like normal and then you just turn off everything that isn't the vocal on one of them. Brilliant. But we don't always have that, uh, that um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, that luxury, I guess. Uh, so there's other ways of doing that as well. So there is a revolution going on out there. The best open format DJs, the best quick mixing DJs, the best creative DJs are using acapellas now like never before. Of course, the pro pros have always been doing it. But now, just like... The key mixing button and the key sync features made it easier to mix in key for everyone else. 
just like that, now these new a cappella and stems functions either built into your software or built into standalone systems that you can prepare ahead of time are making a cappella mixing for everyone else available as well. It's awesome because you can take the a cappella of anything you want and you can, all those things you've had going around your head for years, you can now make them real. I promise you that once you do this, we call it a threshold moment because once you, once you see it, you'll never go back. Um, and yeah, you'll just be there with your collection open, trying out all kinds of stuff forevermore, I promise you. Definitely worth having a go and don't be left behind because people are getting on this in their droves. Speaking of which, don't be left behind. If you head over to Digital DJ Tips now and go to any website, any um, article on Digital DJ Tips, you will find this banner here. Uh, how to mix with acapellas and stems. This is the course that we've made that explains this. So if you'd like me and the team to help you to do this, to talk you through it on your software, with your music, with your gear, step by step, this is the course for you. We just put it public today. It's been available to our members since the end of last year, but it's now public so everyone can get it. Uh, and we put a hundred dollar saving on this just literally for a few days now. Uh, as it's live uh, for the first time to everyone. So do come and take a look at this. It talks you through all the technical stuff I've talked through. We are, I actually show you and Steve actually shows you exactly how to organize and beat grid and prepare these things. Uh, and then there are four big modules in here that talk you through the fundamentals, the basics and the advanced tricks, not only with acapellas, but with the rest of the stems as well. So you won't only learn to use acapellas, but you'll learn how to DJ and transition using the drums and the bass lines and everything else. Uh, if you go to that page now and have a look, you'll find that in the middle there is a video uh, lower down where we talk you through a few of the 44 tricks that you will learn in here. And you can actually listen to them and watch some of the training and see how we do it, see what the uh, training involves. So do come and take a look at that if you still want to have a go at this, but you I haven't given you enough now. You're not a self-starter. You'd rather have someone show you. We, it was a lot of fun making that course and it's now public. We're very excited about it. It's available as of today. Uh, right, acapellas and stems. I've talked enough. I want to know what you've got to say on this. And so now I'm going to, as ever, go over to our live chat uh, and see your views, see what you think. Is it for you? Is it something you've always done? Do you need extra help or are you always, uh, always good doing this on your own? Let me know. Uh, loads and loads and loads of people here in the chat. Uh, and again, if you're new to all of this, my chat looks like this. I've got all your comments coming in and now I have to pull the computer in like this uh, and pretend that uh, someone's picking them for me and just putting them in front of me, but they're not. The team are too busy handling your comments online at the moment. I have to pull the ones I want to talk about more out uh, for myself. Uh, but that's cool. I've been doing it a long time. First off, a few hellos. Hi to Isomatic and Kesha, uh, to Jeremiah, who says, how do you like the rain one? Yeah, I like the rain one, Jeremiah. To Mixmaster G and Baynard uh, and to Jason and Mike. Uh, you're all piling in on all platforms, which is good to see. Uh, right. I want to now talk to you about stems and about acapellas in particular. So do you have any questions about that? If so, ask. So people are asking about uh, engine DJ stems. So engine DJ stems are the stems that work on all equipment that is from Denon DJ. So I have here the Denon DJ, my favorite little Denon DJ unit with its battered old, battered old cover on it. Uh, the Denon DJ Prime Go, for instance, uh, but also the Mix Stream Pro from Newmark, the Prime for all of those units uh, are engine DJ powered. Uh, and the question is, what's happened to the acapellas and to the instrumentals on engine DJ equipment because it was promised. So here's what happened. They put them into the Prime 4 Plus, right, which is their most recent controller or most recent DJ setup uh, as a beta. So private beta, beta. Uh, and that means that uh, it wasn't rolled out to everyone and it wasn't like they weren't pretending it was perfect trouble was it wasn't very good at all. And I think they probably hit a buffer where they've realized you just can't get them sounding great on, on, on existing standalone technology. So I think it's kind of like being parked and I think we'll be waiting a while for the next generation of standalone technology for this stuff to appear there. So uh, just one of those things. I mean, good on them for trying. Uh, one of the biggest uh, controllers for stems is the Flex 10. So the Flex 10 uh, is not here. <laughs> it's over there. I'm not going to go over there and get it. Uh, the Flex 10 is a great controller from Rekordbox because it's got all the buttons on it for controlling the stems, also for Serato. But it is uh, 
not without its problems, as we've found from a few people who are just having niggling problems with, with the way the Flex 10 works. I've heard it a few times. So um, Tim is saying, I've got an issue where the song I'm que queuing up in my headphones will play out of the master. That's probably a audio setup thing that you can easily fix by going into the audio settings, Tim. But we have heard of a few other people saying they're having little issues with the Flex 10. Overall, we haven't. We love the Flex 10. The biggest problem I have with it is that record boxes stems don't sound very good. Hopefully they'll improve that at some point soon. Um, so um, Jorg says Tractor does have stems. Yes, it does. But it's a, as I was saying, it's an older technology which can't do it on the fly, as you as you yourself say there, Jorg. So thank you for that. Uh, you don't like my music. Says Rip X looks great for creating bootlegs, uh, but don't try using copyrighted vocals in tracks you want to release. No, of course not. But if you want to create bootlegs, re-edits, re and mashups using this kind of software for your own DJ sets. That's fine. So go ahead. We've got a course with Layback Luke that teaches just that. But thank you for that. Um, so Jorg says, does only Nuo stems generate the MP4 that Tractor needs to play in its first generation kind of stems? Yes. Uh, I think X tracks stems. So the letter X, the word tracks with an X stems does, but I haven't seen any updates from them for at least a year. So I think they're probably not on it anymore. So I'd certainly say that Nuo stems is the one to go for there. Uh, right, so um, wouldn't it be nice to have a stems feature that could remove crowd noise from live recordings? Says so mm okay on uh, on YouTube. Yes, wouldn't it just be nice? I'm sure there's something that can do that. I'm sure some wizard on Isotope RX10 or something has found a way of removing crowd noises. Um, so uh, so yeah, thank you for that one. Uh, Billy just says keeping it real, Phil. Thanks. Uh, DJ Ricky says F uh, a Ripex is like the Photoshop of audio. Um, DJ Brian I says hopefully the follow up, the XDJ XZ follow up will have built in stems controls. Um, so uh, there we go. Um, Trans Europe official on Twitch says I used to use another software which most have a small vocal in uh, like low end and 2.2, maybe 1.1. I've no idea what you're talking about. Um, it's, uh, it's the old typing fingers making it illegible there, Trans Europe uh, official. But anyway, I'm glad you found some software that's working for you there. Uh, Roland says, I just moved to Virtual DJ today from Rekordbox. First time playing with their stems. Holy crap, it's a revelation. Yeah, God, if you've been using Rekordbox stems and you've moved to Roland, uh, then, uh, sorry, to, you are Roland, and you've moved to uh, Virtual DJ. Yeah, it's going to sound amazing. Uh, and some of you commenting on my big water bottle. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been in the studio for years. Maybe I should give it a clean at some point. Maybe I shouldn't talk about that. Uh, Cosmic Puma, what are the restrictions on using acapellas in tracks that you want to release online? Is it the same as normal copyright laws? It's as restrictive as normal copyright laws, and you can't do it without getting permission uh, from the relevant people there. So, uh, yes, very hard. Uh, Phil says, nice stories on the history of stems there. Thanks a lot for that. You're very welcome. Uh, Antimatter65 says, uh, I really like the mapping abilities on Tractor. Can you talk about the Tractor stems mappings? Right, right, I will. And I don't know what you're talking about here. You could be talking about the new kind of mapper that they use in Tractor Pro Plus, which I won't talk about because it's a different subject. But Tractor stems has got fantastic controls for the stems. Even, I mean, they don't make the, S, the S5 and the S8 anymore, but the Tractor S4 has got great stems control on it. But you can also add the Tractor Control F1, which can give you more control over the stems decks in Tractor. Uh, so Tractor is very good. It's just it can't do them in real, in real time for you. But as I say, if you use Nuo stems software and prepare your whole collection, throw it into Tractor, you then can use them. So it's definitely the way forward for Tractor. Uh, another comment from Phil who says, it takes a while to get these things right and to have enough processing power to manage them and to manage real-time audio. God, yeah, it does. I mean, the, what the producers have done are absolutely incredible uh, so far, just absolutely incredible. Uh, so uh, I think we're probably done there for this. I'm just looking for any questions that are left that I haven't answered. A couple of you are saying that you can't get stems on Tidal anymore on, um, on DJ software. No, you can't. So the thing is, the best way of using stems is with your own music because the record companies are kind of spitting their dummy out a bit about this and Tidal have had to turn them off and you can rest assured there'll be more bumps along the road. Uh, so definitely using your own music would uh, be the better way of doing it. Uh, but it doesn't mean they've been disabled fully, uh, Baynard, so I don't think they have. Serato has still got them. You've just got to use your own music. Um, so uh, I think we're probably going to stop now. I, I'm going I'm to use Jonas's question to end off here. 
Jonas says, how good are stems actually when performing? I mean, do you have to have huge extra storage for preparing them as they do not recommend using stems on the fly, at least for virtual DJ? Right, to use stems in a performance and to use acapellas and to use it in real time, you need a few things. You need a very good computer, a very good computer. Almost you can't get good enough now. Minimum 16 gig gigabytes of RAM, very fast modern processor. If you've got that, then it can handle it. They'll sound good, they'll work smoothly. Alternatively, you need, if you're using Virtual DJ or Serato, which can both do this, you need a very big hard drive, preferably an SSD. I would give that advice to anyone. The reason for that is you can prepare them sneakily ahead of time in that software. You can't then take them and use them anywhere else, but you can prepare them ahead of time. Advantage, doesn't use anywhere near as much processor power. Disadvantage, takes about four times the hard disk space, right? So there's a trade-off there. Um, so yes, they are good enough to use in performance if you do what I said, respect what I just said, but also if you test it, make sure it works because you might have to put your buffer size up a little bit because it's using more processor power so things are getting glitchy. You might have to switch out of high res graphics. Serato will let you do that. I'm pretty sure Recordbox will as well. I'm not sure on that. Uh, just to, to, to let the GPU do other things instead of giving you retina grade vision when you don't really need it. Uh, but yes, they will work. Now, DJ Pro is a very good piece of software for this. Algorithms DJ Pro, at least on iOS and Mac OS, is extremely good quality and actually seems to be very snappy as well. So if you are worried about this, that's a kind of outlier platform to take a little look at. Uh, right, that's all I wanted to talk about today, people. I hope you've enjoyed this show. Uh, it's our Acapellas and Stems 2024 revolution. We really think it is um, special. Uh, and remember that if you are interested in having me uh, and Steve, my co-tutor here at Digital DJ Tips, teach you, uh, head over to the Digital DJ Tips website, find the banner and click through to how to mix with Acapellas and Stems, which is $100 off uh, as of its launch uh, today. Uh, it will only be for a few days while we get the launch out of the way. So go take a look at it, see if it's for you. There's a video that will tell you about it. And then further down, there's also a video where we look through some of the tricks and techniques that are in it. So you can see the kind of thing you learn and the kind of thing you can start applying to your music as soon as you've finished the course. Uh, for me, meanwhile, I'll see you next week for another live show on Tuesday at 4 p.m. London, 11 a.m. Eastern. Until then, get good, get out there and make the moments. From the studio, bye-bye for now.